Hello everybody, Megazardex here, back at it again to give y'all another very exciting video, and for today, I have my ReZero review over episode 15, A Reason to Believe, and if you had not already done so, you can go ahead and click that card in the corner and check out my episode 14 review, if you just so happen to miss it, need a recap, or whatever you, the case may be, just go ahead and see that, and then come back over and watch this one though, but man, I gotta say with this episode, it really truly is the tale of two halves, you really have the first half of the episode really focusing on Odo, and him being like the best boy and whatnot though him going over his backstory where he came from and why he's so committed and dedicated to Subaru and then on the second half of the episode you finally get to see um Amelia trying to you know just take all of those emotions and everything that she sort of kind of forgot within her past all those memories coming back and how Subaru is basically trying to comfort them and you basically kind of see like a level squirrel kind of play out in front of them though that leads to a very big but a very emotional moment though might upset some people though might make some others happy though but I got a lot more to say about it when we get to that point but overall there is a ton of character development that's going on within this episode and it's about time to go ahead and unpack this though so without any further ado let's go ahead and dive straight up into this episode review for ReZero Season Season two. Two things I can say after seeing this episode is one, Odo is best boy. Obviously, that's the case when you take Subaru out of the question. And the second is Odo and Amelia get some meaty development and the result is a very satisfying episode all around. It's been alluded to before that although Odo has the ability to communicate with animals due to his divine protection, an ability granted to people randomly at birth, he has reservations about using it. His backstory makes it clear that possessing this ability has caused him a lot of grief, whether it was being bombarded with animal noises from his early years to being ostracized as a bug lover even in his hometown. Learning about his past puts his support for both Amelia and Subaru in the context. He's sympathetic to Amelia because he's faced discrimination in his own life before and he's drawn to Subaru because he saved him from the witch's cult. Although the Odo and Amelia sides of the episodes are relatively divorced from each other, the unifying theme might be how good deeds have a way of going a full circle. Odo was saved by Subaru, so he lends his hand in support. In the same way, Emilio was the first person to save Subaru when he first landed in the other world, so Subaru does everything he can to save her, and in the later half of the episode when he pours out his feelings for her and tells her about everything he loves about her, the wording of his confession bears a strong resemblance to what Rim told him when he was at his lowest. I like the thematic cohesiveness in this arc and of ReZero as a whole. Now, the big thing that happened in the second half of the episode was the Subaru and Amelia romance scene. Their conversation gets off to a rocky start because Amelia is dealing with a lot. But one thing that she keeps coming back to is how hurt she felt when Subaru broke his promise to stay with her. Even before you consider how important oaths, contracts, and promises are to a spirits art user like Amelia, trust is an important part of a relationship between people. This isn't the first time Subaru has broken promises he made with Amelia. It was the trigger that led to their pardon in the Royal Selection arc. Now, this is one of my theories that I'm thinking about in the back of my head though, but one of my main reasons why he possibly couldn't uphold his promise was that he must have been doing something in the background in the lead up to this two front war. My gut feeling was him prepping and preparing stuff against the showdown of what's to come in the mansion, whether he, you know, he made like a special trip outside of the sanctuary or he had to meet up with someone somewhere. I feel like that had to have been the only reason why he would break his promise of staying by her side during that night because he was trying to accomplish a goal for a greater good for everyone's survival, but he didn't want to tell Amelia that because she's already under enough, enough stress as it is already. Now, their conversation in this episode retreads similar ground to their earlier argument from episode 13 in season one, but this time it ends with a kiss rather than a parting. I think that the big difference from Amelia's point of view is that she's feeling particularly self-loathing and vulnerable. 
Subaru is clearly trying to walk a really thin line between giving Amelia the space to work out her own feelings and offering her support that she needs. This is a good start, but there's obviously some more room for growth and improvement from both of their sides as they both do truly care and love each other despite all the craziness that's going on um, at this moment and gosh, throughout this whole entire season two. But at least for now, it did feel nice for Subaru to finally make some bold first steps and I'm like, yes, 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 Subaru, yes, 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 man. Yes, you finally did it, man. You put them rim lovers to the side. You kicked them to the curb, man. Yes, that's the OP ship right there. Subaru and Amelia for the win, man. You just got to clean up some stuff, man. But that was some great first moments with your girl right there, man. Mad respect, man. Mad respect. But in the end, ReZero is a story where both the hero and the heroine are hopeless in their own ways. They hate themselves. They don't understand how other people could possibly love them but they save others and they are saved themselves. Watching Subaru and Amelia come to understand what their lives are worth is cathartic in a way that few other stories have ever been for me. What matters isn't how you start or what happens in the middle, it's how it ends, was an excellent quote from Subaru. I think of these words as an assurance of that things will be okay even if you don't know it yet. And that basically sums up my whole entire review over episode 15 for ReZero season two. But y'all gotta let me know down in the comment section down below what all that you possibly think about this whole entire episode. From that first half, just Odo, just learn about his backstory. This is the reason why he's so dedicated and committed to Subaru, man. I mean, that was just a really messed up past. And I was like, gosh, you, you sort of kind of really feel for the character though. And then looking at the second half of, this, um, of the story and just being like, Oh shoot, yes, yes, uh, Amelia people win, we got the win baby, we got the win, I'm sorry you Rim fans though, but Amelia is truly the best girl, and we just saw it in this episode man, great first steps for Subaru and Amelia right there though, just a solid, really good moment, unfortunately I had that little moment um, spoiled to me, somebody threw up the thumbnail on my Twitter, I ain't gonna call out no names, but oh shoot man but it, it, it was a really good moment though so let me know down in the comment section down below what all do you think about this episode and what are you really looking forward to um, within next week's episode though so that about does it for my review y'all so if you really liked this review go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell to stay up to date on all things ReZero that's happening this season y'all so remember y'all until our video I make next see y'all